Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the ASRock Challenger D 5500 XT 8GB OC card. Before we actually install this physically into your machine, we're going to go ahead and open up your favorite browser. Then we're going to go to amd.com. On AMD's website, we're going to click on the little three line icon on here, the hamburger maybe, and we're going to scroll down to drivers and support, and we're going to click there. Then we're going to go ahead and scroll down a little tiny bit. We're going to select graphics. Then we're going to select AMD Radeon 5500 series, and then AMD Radeon RX 5500 series, and finally, AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT. Then we click submit. Scroll down a little tiny bit here. You're going to select your version of Windows. For me, it's going to be Windows 10 64-bit edition. And then we're going to click download. Now, while that's downloading, we're going to go up here in the URL bar and type wagnardsoft.com. And we're going to go ahead and Scroll down a little tiny bit under the DDU display driver uninstaller. We're going to click on the latest version. And then after scrolling down a little bit, we're going to click, click here for download and support. And finally, we're going to click on official download here. Okay. So when both are downloaded, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uninstall the drivers of the graphics card we have in there currently. If you're using onboard Intel or AMD or a physical Nvidia card or even another AMD card, we're gonna go ahead and uninstall that driver first. For that, we have DDU. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on DDU. And then we're gonna go ahead and place it on the root of the drive, the C drive, under the DDU folder. Okay, perfect. So now we have the Radeon software also downloaded. We're gonna save that for right now. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and close our browser. Okay, then on the physical keyboard, you're gonna hold down the left shift key, then right click on the start button, hover over shutdown or sign out, and click restart. Now keep holding the left shift key. What we're going to do now is boot into the Windows safe mode. Okay, on this screen, we're gonna go ahead and click on troubleshoot. Then we're gonna click on advanced options. Then we're gonna click on startup settings. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and click here on restart. Now this is important because it's going to go ahead and remove all of the drivers from Windows that we've had previously installed that could potentially cause issues with the updated drivers we're going to install now. Okay, so on this screen on startup settings, we're gonna press the number four to enable safe mode. Okay, and then we're gonna enter our password to log into Windows. Okay, so then within Windows, we're going to go ahead and click on File Explorer and then go to the directory where we've extracted DDU onto. So I'll click here on DDU and then I'll double click on Display Driver Uninstaller. Click OK over here. Now, once Display Driver Uninstaller opens up, it's going to give you this option window. It's very important. So for NVIDIA specific options, place a check in all the check boxes. And for AMD specific options, remove C AMD drivers folder. Now, if you have an AMD chipset, like an AMD CPU with an AMD chipset motherboard, you're going to go ahead and leave, remove the driver filter AMD K MPFD unchecked and remove AMD audio bus unchecked because those are going to be for your chipset and you don't want to ruin that. And then you're going to place a check under remove AMD crimson shader cache folder. Also incredibly important under advanced options, you're going to place a check under prevent downloads from drivers from windows updates. Okay, and then click install here, and then finally click close. Now on this main window over here on the right hand side, we're going to click on select device type. Then we're gonna select GPU. Okay, it might select Nvidia or AMD or Intel first, but whichever it is, first off, select Nvidia, and then click clean and do not restart. Now, 
If you have an AMD card previously in your machine, I still recommend to run the NVIDIA first, just in case to clear up any of the cache Windows might have already stored up. Clean uninstall completed. Would you like to exit now? We'll click no. And then we'll go back, click on NVIDIA and select AMD. That's gonna go ahead and the same thing that we did before, it's gonna remove the AMD drivers. Even if you don't have AMD currently installed, Windows 10 has some of the drivers already on there to auto detect. So we're gonna go ahead and clean and do not restart. Would you like to exit now? We're gonna click no. Now, you can go ahead and select Intel as well and do the same thing, but we're gonna go ahead and skip that for now. So now we're going to go ahead and close out of DDU and then we're going to shut down Windows. Completely shut it down because now we're gonna go ahead and install the physical card. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do before we touch anything inside the computer, before we touch the video card, we're going to want to go ahead and ground ourselves. So to ground yourself, go ahead and rub your hands on the inside frame of your computer. Just make sure to touch that metal frame just to discharge any of the ESD you might have in your hands. That of course could damage your computer. Then we're gonna go ahead and, I'm just taking this off. It's different in every single case. We're gonna go ahead, unplug the video card or the monitor from the video card. And then we're gonna go ahead, if you do have any PCIe cables attached, you're going to want to go ahead and remove those. Let me get a little bit closer so you could see how to remove those. So here you're going to notice there's a little tiny clip or you may not notice it right now, but on NVIDIA cards, the clip is typically on the bottom. Whereas for AMD cards, the clip is on the top. I'm gonna to show you both ways in a moment. But to remove this, just press and hold this little latch here and just pull it out. So this is the little clip I was referring to. That clips on to the reten retention mechanism on the PCIe connector. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the second one, if you had a second one. Okay, so we're done there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and unscrew the video card. All right, now I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit closer so you can see the retention mechanism on the PCIe slot. So one second. At the very back of the PCIe slot, right back here, on most motherboards, if not all, there's gonna be some sort of retention mechanism, be it a little notch right here or a little button you need to press down on. But for me, on this particular motherboard, the EVGA Z390 Dark, it's going to be, you just push this in and it's gonna go ahead and slide the card out just a little bit so you can remove it. I'm gonna zoom out real quick. And then when I push this, you're gonna notice the card just go click a little tiny bit. So, you notice there was a click and the card just kind of went out a little tiny bit. And so now I can just easily remove the video card and that's it, that card is out. So now we're gonna go ahead and physically install the ASRock Challenger D5500 XT video card. Okay, so now you're going to go ahead and match up these gold connectors right over here onto the PCIe slot. You notice there's a notch right over here and a little notch right over here on the PCIe slot. You're going to slide it in over here. These two little pegs here. They're gonna slide in between the motherboard and the case. There's a little tiny slit. We're gonna go ahead, slide that in there. Okay, and now that same little retention mechanism that I pushed in, it's still unlocked. The fact that I pushed it in means that I unlocked that retention mechanism. Now, when I push that card in, it's gonna go ahead and pop right back up. I'm gonna zoom in real quick. So now when I push the card in, you notice that retention mechanism just went click right up. So I'm gonna zoom it out real quick. Now I'm gonna show you from out here. First off, just unlatching the card. And then I'm gonna show you how I just installed it. So again, slide that right in. 
and it's not gonna take a lot of force. You push it in and the card is installed. Now, before we plug in the PCIe power, which yes, you will need to plug that in, we're gonna go ahead and screw the video card back into the case itself. That way the video card does not move around while you're installing the PCIe power, potentially messing up the card. Okay, now that the video card is securely installed, now we're gonna go ahead and install the PCIe power. Now, you might have a six plus two or just an eight. This, this video card requires an eight pin. So, if you remember, I mentioned that the clip is on the top for AMD cards. So, if you had an NVIDIA card, you'll just turn this around. You're going to match this clip with this clip right up here and just slide that in and push it in to lock that clip in place. I'm gonna take you around to the other side so you get a better view of exactly how I did that. Okay, and now with that plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our monitor. Now, if you had onboard video, it's going to be a little bit different than you had before. But if you had a video card in there previously, it'll be totally the same. So to do that, now, if you had onboard video, chances are you plugged in your monitor somewhere up here. Now that you have a video card, you're gonna plug it into the video card itself. Now, this could be a display port or an HDMI, so you're going to want to select the right port down here, but this particular cable is an HDMI. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the HDMI port. And that's it. So now let's go ahead and turn on the computer and install the drivers. All right, so now first off, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the computer. At this screen, we're gonna go ahead and log in. All right, now that we have the drivers set to, or windows set to not auto detect, it's not gonna go ahead and install those drivers for us. We need to manually install them. So we're gonna go to the directory where we originally downloaded the AMD drivers. For me, it's going to be in my downloads folder. Then we'll click on Win 10 Radeon Software Adrenaline 2020 or whatever version it is when you installed it or when you downloaded it, I mean. So here we'll go ahead and install. Okay, so on this screen, we'll go ahead and click additional options and you can change the install location if you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and also select factory reset and then click install. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and click restart now. That's gonna go ahead, strip older drivers if they were still there. DDU takes care of that, but DDU focuses a lot deeper than the AMD driver does to remove those older drivers. But this way we for sure get everything clean just in case. Now the AMD drivers are gonna pick right back up after the reboot and start installing. Okay, you're going to notice the screen blank out a few times while you're installing that it's getting the drivers and windows ready. So here we can go ahead and uncheck all of these if we just want to get into installing or playing our games, which we'll go over in a different video. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and launch AMD Radeon software. We'll click finish here. Now, if you have never installed the AMD drivers before, I do recommend going through the quick setup. That way you can learn a little bit on how everything works. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click skip this. Okay, so if you haven't used AMD Radeon software in a long time or ever, this is going to look very fresh, very new, very different for you. The software and the drivers have come a very long way since the 2020 release. On home, we have a ton of options. We can launch games. This is a fresh install, so there are no games to pick up. We can take screenshots, record a video, instant GIF, instant replay, then tells us here the driver software, device status, upgrade advisor, and then just some tutorials down here. Under the gaming tab, well, we don't have any games installed just yet, or media, 
and nothing for compatibility's sake. Under streaming, a bunch of different streaming controls. You don't need to download any additional streaming software anymore. AMD can take care of that for you, which is very nice. Some chat feature over here, scene editor for videos you may already have. Then the performance icon, it's very nice. The metrics right here tells you where your card is currently performing at, your utilization, your clock speed, your power consumption, how much of the GPU are you utilizing, your VRAM, your CPU, and your regular RAM. Under tuning, here is where, you know, if you've never done it before, you might wanna come under here, but just be careful, click I accept. Of course, make sure to read all of this. And then here you can actually manually or automatically overclock your GPU, your RAM for the video card. Your, you can undervolt the video card, overclock it, overclock the RAM. A ton of great features here. I'm not gonna go under a lot of detail here. And then advisor, your upgrade advisor, just giving you some tips and everything for, you know, if they find something that you might need to upgrade, you can run through here and it'll help you decide what to select. So we have a ton of features here. And then here, it'll take you to AMD's website, some favorites that you might have, some messages, some more configuration here, ton of different options under system, graphics, display, video, hotkeys, your accounts for Facebook and all of these different social media platforms, devices, general. We have a ton of different features here. So definitely explore it, learn it. If you feel a little overwhelmed, there's a bunch of different groups on Facebook and on Twitter and everywhere that and Reddit that'll definitely help you out and learn this a little bit better. Or of course, you can ask me down below. I'd always be more than happy to help you. So stay tuned here. I'm going to record a few more videos of which are going to be some gameplay videos on how this card performs under a few different games. And then of course, you'll find a complete review coming soon. Again, this is Iggy showing you how to install the Astrock Challenger D 5500 XT OC 8 gigabyte card, how to install it not only into your physical machine, but how to prep your machine for it, and then how to download and install the drivers. All right, my friends, Iggy out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.